Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial on vector in motion and today I am going to solve a problem on centroid of plates. The problem is on your screen. We have a plate of this shape which is suspended from point A and we have to find the angle the line AB will make with the vertical when this plate is in equilibrium condition. So, in equilibrium condition, the center of gravity of this plate will be vertically under point A and therefore, this line AB will shift towards left and we have to find the angle that it will make with the vertical. Since the plate is uniform, the center of gravity and the centroid of this area, they will coincide. So, our first task is to find out the coordinates of the centroid of this area, this plate. First, we have to decide how to construct this shape from the basic geometrical shapes and one can think of this shape is constructed from a semicircle like this and then from that area, we take out this quarter of a circle and a triangle and what we shall be left with is the shape, shape of the plate. So, the shape of the plate is the semicircle let us call that A1 and from this we take away the quarter of a circle. So, let me say it is a quarter circle and label it as A2. So, from A1 we take away A2 and we take away the triangle as well. So, we label that as A3. So, our composite shape is nothing but A1 minus A2 minus A3 and now we shall find out the centroids of the individual areas and put all that information in a tabular form so as to avoid any confusion and reduce the chances of making arithmetical mistakes. So, here is the table in which we will keep adding our data. So, our first area is A1 the semicircle and that area is pi r square upon 2, the radius is 6 centimeter. So, pi 6 square upon 2 and we write down the numerical value here that will be 56.55 and that will be plus x coordinate of the centroid is x bar and the y coordinate of the centroid is y bar and x bar of a semicircle is 4 r upon 3 pi. So, putting in 6 in place of r, this will work out to 2.55, right? And y bar would be 0 because the centroid of this semicircle will fall on the x axis center line. So, y bar will be 0. So, x bar times a will put down in this column 144.20 and y bar a would be 0. Now, we take the area A2 which is a quarter of a circle and the area would be pi r square upon 4. r is 3 centimeter. So, it will be pi 3 square upon 4 and this will work out to minus 7.07 minus because we are subtracting the area of the quarter circle from the area of the semicircle. 
the x bar for this quarter circle also would be 4 r upon 3 pi and here r is 3 centimeter and therefore this will work out to 1.27 y bar would be again 1.27 but that will be above this line above this dotted line and since y bar is to be considered from this line it will be 3 that is this much plus 1.27 so it will be 4.27 note that x bar and y bar for this area this area has to be considered from the x axis and the y axis and for a quarter of a circle x bar and y bar is 4 r upon 3 pi from this axis and this axis and therefore we have to add 3 centimeter to y bar in order to get the coordinates of y bar of this area from this axis and therefore we got 4.27 now x bar a is 1.27 times 7.07 .07 and that will work out to minus 8.98 and y bar a will work out to minus 30.19 now we deal with the third area a3 the triangle and the area of the triangle is 1 upon 2 base times height the base we can take as 3 centimeter and height would be 9 so it will be 3 times 9 and this will work out to minus 13.50 we have taken the minus sign because we are going to subtract the area of this triangle from the base area of the semicircle x bar for the triangle would be one third of the height and we can treat this as the base and this as the height height is three centimeters so one third would be one centimeter so this is one third of three is equal to one point zero zero y bar is again height upon three and this time we have to consider this as the base and this as the height the height is 9 cm so one third of 9 cm would be 3 cm so 3 cm would be from this base this dotted line 3 cm downwards and this distance is 3 cm therefore the y bar would lie on the x axis in which case the y bar here would be zero so x bar a would turn out to be minus 13.50 and y bar a would be zero now we take totals of the areas so sigma a would be equal to 35.98 sigma x bar a would be equal to 121.7 and similarly sigma y bar a equal to minus 30.19 now if capital x bar is the x coordinate of our centroid g then that can be expressed as x bar is equal to 
sigma x a upon sigma a and this will be equal to 121.72 divided by 35.98. And this will be equal to 3.383. Similarly, the y coordinate of the centroid G would be equal to sigma y bar A upon sigma A, and that will be equal to minus 30.19. upon 35.98 this will be equal to 0.839 now we have to compute the angle theta we'll take help of this drawing to find out the value of theta tan theta you can see is equal to x bar upon the distance a to this point which is 6 centimeter plus y bar so tan theta is x bar upon 6 plus the absolute value of y bar. So this will be equal to 3.383 divided by 6.839. So this will work out to 0 0.494 and therefore theta would be tan inverse 0 0.494 or equal to 26.3 degrees and that is the answer. So this line AG which connects the point of suspension to the centroid would become vertical in steady state condition and this line AB will turn towards left but the angle between the two lines that is the line AB and the vertical line would still be equal to theta. So that's the answer and we are done. So I hope you found this tutorial useful and in case you like this video, please give your thumbs up and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and if you have any problem, please include them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.